what's going on guys welcome back to another video we're doing this one outside because my lighting in my room is terrible and yeah i, I just didn't want to put you guys through that so if you guys hear echo i apologize i'm outside so um today we're going to be going over the offensive line for the 2017 new york giants uh, another edition of the positional previews i'm doing so we're going to start off with tackles we got eric flowers Bobby Hart, Adam Biznawadia, our uh, six-round draft pick, Justin Dunker, undrafted free agent, Chad Wheeler, undrafted free agent, who both those players, um, Jerry Reese came out and said he was very excited about having, so that's a plus. Adam Geddes, who's on the Giants every year, just can't figure out a way to make it on. And then Michael Bowie, um, don't, don't really know too much about him. So going into it, um, you know, Bobby Hart is actually uh, listed as a guard on the Giants.com, but he's more of a tackle. He's going to be playing tackle. Um, depends on if he gets that starting spot or not. As of right now, I assume Eric Flowers is still our left tackle. The second round of free agency is going to happen soon with all the preseason and stuff like that. So say if, you know, a team drops a pretty good tackle, uh, the Giants could pick him up and use him there, but that's the only way I see Eric Flowers not being the left tackle for the Giants because there's nobody that's going to beat him on this roster. Um, that's saying that's saying like a lot about our how bad our offensive line is right now as far as the tackle spots go. So Eric Flowers left tackle right now. Bobby Hart is going to be in competition with DJ Fluker for that right tackle position. We'll see who wins the job. Right now, it's really it's really anybody's job. You know, um, I don't I don't think they came out and named the right tackle. They haven't came out and you know they already said Eric Flowers is the left tackle right now. They haven't even said who is the starting right tackle. Whether it's Bobby Hart, DJ Fluker, they don't know that yet. So uh, as far as Bobby Hart goes, we'll see what happens with him in the preseason. Did play well with us when when he did start in games like that, but um, still. Um, so we got DJ Fluker as well. So uh, Michael Bowie, don't know who that is. He's not going to make the roster. I guarantee that. Uh, as Adam Biznawadi, uh listed as a tackle, he's going to be he's going to be uh, tested at both tackle positions, left and right. I just don't see him fitting. I don't see him beating out Eric Flowers, Bobby Hart, and DJ Fluker for that position. So I, I imagine he's just going to be a, either a backup tackle or he's just going to be a backup guard. In no way is he going to start. So do not think that, guys. He, just because he's a, a, a draft pick this year does not mean anything. He's not going to start this year. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets any to little to no playing time whatsoever. So... Um, moving on, Justin Dunker and Chad Wheeler. I really don't know who is the best of those two, but we'll see what happens at the preseason. And then Adam Geddes, for some reason, always makes a practice squad every year. Then injuries happen. He gets promoted to the active roster, and that's pretty much his whole career. So that's that. Moving on to the guard position. Uh, it's a little more solidified there at the guard position. We've got uh, DJ Fluker, John Jerry, Justin Pugh, and a guy named John Jalapio, Jalapeno or whatever, <laughs> Jalapio, but um, don't know too much about him. I don't imagine he's going to make the roster because I think the guard position is pretty set. Um, we've got Justin Pugh on the left side, John Jerry on the right side, and then, you know, whoever's going to be that back, whoever's going to lose that right tackle position. Whoever loses that right tackle uh, starting position, whether it's Bobby Hart or DJ Fluker, is going to switch in the guard or, you know, be that kind of guy that goes everywhere. So, uh, as, as as well as Adam Biznawadi because he could also play guard, which is what everybody says that he should be in the NFL. Moving on to center, we've got Weston Richburg, you know, top five center in the game right now. That's, I don't Nobody could dispute that. The guy was an absolute monster for all the time he's played. Even when he played left guard for us back in his rookie year, he was still a beast. Switched to his natural position, and now he's he's a great pick. He wound up being a great pick for us. Um, and then we've got Brett Jones, who came from the Canadian Football League last year. I believe there was a game where Weston Richburg did not play. I think because Weston Richburg got injured, and Brett Jones came in, and he actually did really well. You know that that Brett Jones will be a good backup. That's all I gotta say. He'll be a good backup. He's, he'll probably make the roster. 
I'll be surprised if he didn't. Uh, but I think he'll definitely make the roster. Be some good depth for uh, the center position. And then we got Khalid Holmes. I don't know who that is, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to make the roster. So uh, with all those names said, we are going to go from left to right starting positions. And maybe we'll name a few backups. Just probably like three or four. Um, so because I don't know what the Giants the Giants uh, staff want to do with these players because some of, you know, a lot of them are versatile like Bobby Hart like DJ Fluker Adam Bisnawadi so on and so forth so I'm not gonna get into the details of who's gonna play what uh, as far as the backups go but I'll give a little insight into that so Eric Flowers is gonna be a starting left tackle it's probably a given uh, Justin Pugh starting left guard uh, great guard great um, you know great player to have at guard center. Western Richburg, right guard. I imagine it's going to be John Jerry. He didn't play that bad. I don't know why people don't like him. John Jerry, he didn't play that bad last year. He's, he's a decent guard, very decent. Um, and then at right tackle, I want to say it's going to be DJ Fluker. I think he's a better NFL player. Um, he has way more experience, former, for, I believe he's for, former first round pick too. Um, and, you know, he, he didn't play. He. I'm not going to say he played awful with the Chargers. He just didn't play up to their standards like a first-round pick should. But I still think he's a better player than Bobby Hart. So I'm going to give that, uh, give the edge to DJ Fluker, and I think he will win the right tackle spot. And then uh, and then Bobby Hart will back up the uh, tackle spot. He'll be the swing tackle. I imagine that's what he's going to be. Um, you know, that third that third best tackle is the swing tackle. You know, whether he has to come in at left tackle or right tackle, I think um, he's going he's gonna to be that third tackle. And then Adam Biznawadi, I believe, is going to kick into guard, be the swing, a swing guard kind of guy. And then um, at center, Brett Jones will make the roster. And let's throw in one of these guys like Jessamyn Dunker or Chad Wheeler. Um, because, you know, the Giants, you, you know, you usually keep on a team, not just the Giants, you usually keep like nine or ten players uh, on your offensive line. So we've got five on the starting line. Uh, Adam Biznawadi is six. Um, Bobby Hart is seven. Brett Jones is eight. And then let's throw in Jessamyn Dunker and Chad Wheeler in there and make it ten. Just because there's, you know, little to no talent on that line, and we need we need as much people as we can get. So I'll say ten. Not probably not going to be ten. They're probably going to keep eight or nine. Um, so yeah, I'll say Jessamyn Dunker and Chad Wheeler impress in the preseason, and they make the roster. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.